Hello all. In this lecture, I am going to discuss with you the Taylor series of sin x about a point x is equals to pi by 2. So, I will discuss with you two ways. One is direct using the formula and the second is the shortcut method. But before that, let us see what is a Taylor series. Taylor series of a function fx about a point say x is equals to a can be written as fx is equals to now the point is a so what is the expansion first term is on the right hand side the same function value at a plus x minus a with power 1 f dash at a upon 1 factorial the next term is x minus a square double derivative upon 2 factorial third term is next four and fourth term is x minus a cube 3 factorial f triple dash a and so on so and we can write the nth term so what we are observing there is a term without any derivative of the function and no power and zero power x minus a if one derivative is there it is a one degree is one and denominator is one factorial double derivative at that point has a term with it square power 2 factorial third derivative 3 power 3 factorial so nth derivative n power n factorial and we can write this whole series in a summation form wherein we take n from 0 to infinity so you can say that when you place n 0 1 2 3 and so on we get all the terms so this is a one way to write a taylor series in a problem solving we use this format but there is a one way another way of writing a taylor series is that if you want to find a Taylor series about a point say a so we always write a plus small h and then the expansion is f of a h times f dash a upon 1 factorial h square times f double dash a upon 2 factorial and so on and here the h value is nothing but x minus a so when even you replace x minus a here we get the same series so these are just want to tell you that this is also known as a Taylor series but problem solving we use this formula and uh, we have a one special case of the Taylor series that when this a value is equals to 0 we got one series it is known as Maclaurin series so here the a value is 0 so you can see that when a value in the previous formula I plug in 0 we get here 0 here x minus 0 means x x minus 0 whole square means x square x minus 0 whole cube means x cube so all the terms over here in the powers are powers of x so we can also call it a powers of x and taylor series is also known as powers of x minus a so these are two statements one can face i would like to discuss a few standard examples to expand this exponential series because i need this formula in my questions so for, let, let me take two examples here. If fx is equals to ex, then I want to expand about, about x is equals to 0. So it's a power series and it is a Maclaurin series. So fx ex, f double dash x is ex, f triple dash x is ex, f third derivative even f nth derivative is also equals to e to the power x. So, when you plug in the value of x at 0, we get 1, 1, 1, 1. Even the nth derivative at 0 is also 1. So, this is a expansion of Maclaurin series. So, when you plug in the value here, it is 1. Here x into 1 is x. Here x square by 2 factorial into 1. x cube by 3 factorial into 1. So, I want that this become one of the standard formula for expansion of ex in powers of x. So we may encash this formula in number of Taylor series expansion. So this is very important to remember. If we remember it, we can make use of it. Similarly, I would like to discuss the one of the trigonometric sine formula. That when function is sine and you want to expand or you can say in powers of x, I want to expand. So here same fx is sine x f dash x is cos x because sin x derivative is cos x double derivative means again differentiation of cos x is minus sin x minus sin x derivative is minus cos x 
minus cos x derivative at fourth order is plus sin x and fifth and so on so we will i because few entries need to be expressed to get a format of the series and when i plug in the value as zero here i get f zero is zero f dash zero is one because cos zero is one sin zero is zero minus sin zero is zero minus cos zero is minus one sin zero is zero fifth derivative cos x which is one and again i will write the series in the formula and when i plug in f zero value here is zero so i don't get constant term here f dash zero become uh, one here so i get x into one this term here and then again f da double dash goes to zero so i don't have this term cubic term will comes here with the minus sign and the fourth term here i have not written but it goes to zero and fifth term will be with the positive sign here i have calculated so we we observed here that this can also be treated as a standard formula for expansion of sin x in powers of x so what this formula is sin x can be written as x minus x cube by 3 factorial next term plus x 5 by 5 factorial if you tell me that what is the next term it would be minus because it is plus the alternate sign minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial so we got the alternate sign of sin x with the odd powers and similarly we can derive the formula for cos many more other formula let me discuss with you some of the formulas i have already jotted down these are um, I have just explained you sine also I have explained you cause will be um, this cause formula is the same but here sine is all odd powers with alternate sign and cause is with even powers like 1 minus x I want you all can derive on your own exactly as the same way I discussed this ex and sine x so you will get this series 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial and so on even you can write down into the summation form they are all odd powers and odd factorial and you can get minus 1 to the power n since it is an alternate sign because sine is all even power so we write even number as 2n even factorial minus 1 to the power n since it is an alternate sign now let's switch over to the question my question i have this expansion of this sin x i want to expand this sin x about the point pi by 2 or you can say the same question can be written as expand sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2 because taylor series deal with the powers form series form so here whatever is the point you always get x minus that point so here a value is pi by 2 so if i write the formula here a is pi by 2 and you have seen that it is f of a means f of pi by 2 x minus a means x minus pi by 2 f dash of pi by 2 so pi by 2 is my a in the formula if you see the taylor series formula here a is nothing but pi by 2 so here pi by 2 here pi by 2 here pi by 2 now what you are observing in this example that we all these are a fixed entry we have to only calculate what is f at pi by 2 what is f dash at pi by 2 what is f double dash at pi by 2 what is this pi by 2 and it's an infinite series so we will find out first few entry to get a structure of the formula so all rest of the terms are fixed in this question if it is powers of pi by 2 i get everywhere x minus pi by 2 so let's see how my question will become so when we write down fx cos double derivative triple derivative all are there sine cos minus sine third derivative minus cos fourth derivative sine and now our job is to put a pi by 2 it is 1 dash becomes 0 double dash become minus 1 and when you plug in here like this become f pi by 2 become 1 so this term is there f dash become 0 so this single power will get cancelled double dash is minus 1 so square term will exist triple dash is 0 third term will vanish fourth derivative is 1 so fourth power is there 
so when you plug in into the formula what we will get we get 1 minus x minus pi by 2 whole square by 2 factorial plus x minus pi by 2 4 by 4 factorial now what i want to discuss here what is my motive actually that in this case what i did i have applied the definition the full process like calculating all the derivative and then plugging into the formula and then getting my answer so so many steps are involved now if anyone want to write this series quickly for that all these series formula must be handy you should remember this formula and then you can do one activity what is that this is a shortcut technique just see in two lines i got the answer what you need to do is write the function and see that it is about pi by 2 about pi by 2 means power should be x minus pi if it would be minus pi by 2 power will be x plus so the positive n number is there i get x minus pi by 2 so here what is the main what is the main way to discuss here is x now you have to add and subtract the number which you have given to you so i want x minus pi by 2 i have subtracted x minus pi by 2 added also x pi by 2 so here this become my two numbers so i am going to apply formula of sin a plus b what is sin a plus b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b for plus it is plus for minus it is minus so in my current question this is my a here and this is my b here this is a and this is b so i get sin a cos b cos a sin b now here cos pi by 2 will go to 0 so this 0 into anything this term will vanish i have only this term now here sin pi by 2 value is equals to 1 so i have written 1 here and here what i need to do is in this case i i should know the series i know cosine series cosine series is cos x equals to 1 plus when you give me x i'll give you 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x 4 by 4 factorial minus x 6 by 6 factorial so when it is x i get x square x to the power 4 when you give me this angle as a x minus 2 i can take it as a formula so it will be 1 minus x minus 2 square here i forget to write here this square by 2 factorial and x minus pi by 2 to the power 4 so what i want to share here that if you are applying the definition you have to calculate it at least four to five terms for the derivative to get a clear uh, series and then plugging into the formula but here if all the maclaurin series of standard function like sine cos exponent log is on your tips we can make use of this series to get my answer quickly so this answer also gotten quickly now let's see the same example with the e to the power x i'll take one more example quickly now here are the series for e to the power x and the point is about x is equals to i'll use again the shortcut technique what is the shortcut here shortcut is what is your number my number is 2 it means i need x minus 2 power if number is negative it become x plus if number is positive it become x minus so here you have to subtract 2 and add 2 separate these two terms basis same power added so we can separate here and uh, e square is a constant right here and expansion of ex now let's see the expansion of the series let us quickly ex means 1 plus when you give me x i give you 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial x 4 by 4 factorial so this become my formula so here this is my formula this is my x so 1 plus x means x minus 2 plus x square means x minus 2 square by 2 factorial cube means x minus 2 by cube so it's just a formula when you're giving me whatever is the here power it will come at the series form so e square times this become my answer i got it in a two lines now for example if the same thing you would be doing in formula so you have to first calculate all few derivatives find the value plug in into the formula like here see find it 3 to 4 derivative applied the formula put the value and i got the same answer but here answer comes after 4 5 steps and here answer comes within a 2 steps so i hope you have understood thank you